In recent years, the NoFap movement has gained popularity among individuals trying to improve their physical and mental well-being by avoiding pornography and masturbation. While some have hailed NoFap as a life-changing practice, others have criticized it as an unnecessary or even harmful activity. In this video, we'll explore the question of whether NoFap is worth the sacrifice and we'll turn to the renowned psychologist and thinker Jordan Peterson for insights on this topic. The idea behind NoFap is that porn and masturbation can have negative effects on an individual's mental and physical health, as well as their relationship with others. One of the most vocal proponents of NoFap is Jordan Peterson, who argues that porn and masturbation can be addictive and have negative effects on the brain. He claims that porn activates the same reward pathways in the brain as drugs like cocaine and also frequent porn use can lead to desensitization, which means that users need more and more extreme content to achieve the same level of arousal. This can lead to a distorted view of sexuality and a lack of interest in real-life relationship. Peterson also suggests that porn and masturbation can have physical effects on the brain, such as reducing gray matter in the prefrontal cortex which is linked with decision-making and impulse control. He argues that this can lead to a lack of motivation and drive in other areas of life, as well as a high risk of depression and anxiety. But is NoFap really worth the sacrifice? For some people, the answer is a big yes. Many individuals who have successfully completed a NoFap challenge have reported increased energy, motivation, and self-confidence. They have also improved relationships with others and shared a greater appreciation for real-life intimacy. However, it's important to note that NoFap is not for everyone. Some people may not experience the same benefits as others, and some may even experience negative effects such as increased feelings of shame or guilt around sexuality. It's also important to note that NoFap should not be used as a substitute for professional help for issues like addiction or mental health concerns. If you are struggling with these issues, it's time to get help of a licensed therapist or medical professional. In a podcast episode dated back to 2017, Peterson voiced his concerns about the serious consequences of pornography addiction and recommended NoFap as an effective means to combat it. According to him, pornography consumption can lead to desensitizations towards sexual stimuli resulting in reduced motivation and productivity. Peterson claimed that practicing NoFap could help individuals regain control over their sexual impulses. However, Peterson also advised that NoFap is not a universal solution, and people should be careful not to become too strict with their virginity. He revealed that sexual desire is a natural and healthy aspect of human behavior, and suppressing it completely could cause psychological and emotional problems. Before we move ahead, if you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. While Jordan Peterson is a well-known advocate for NoFap, he is not the only psychologist to discuss its potential benefits. Dr. David Lee, who has written a lot of issues related to sex and pornography. In his book, The Myth of Sex Addiction, Dr. Lee argues that the concept of sex addiction is a myth perpetuated by the porn industry and a lack of understanding about normal sexual behavior. However, he also admits that some people may struggle with compulsive porn use and NoFap can be a helpful tool for them to regain control over their behavior. Dr. Nicole Prowse has also conducted research on the effects of pornography and use on the brain. While she has been critical of some of the claims made by NoFap supporters, she thinks that some people may experience negative consequences from excessive porn use. But she has also suggested that NoFap could be a helpful tool for people who are trying to reduce their porn addiction. Dr. Gary Wilson, who is known for his book, Your Brain on Porn, argues that excessive porn use can have a range of negative effects on the brain and behavior, including desensitizations to sexual stimuli and difficulty achieving arousal with a partner. He advocates for NoFap as a way to reverse these effects and regain control over one's sexuality. Dr. Emily Nagoski is another sex educator and author who has written much on issues related to sexual health and wellness. In her book, Come as you are, Dr. Emily admits that some people may struggle with compulsive porn use and that NoFap can be a helpful tool for them to regain control over their behavior. 
However, she also emphasizes the importance of understanding and accepting one's own sexuality and warns against using NoFap as a way to shame yourself or others for their sexual desires. Well, NoFap can be a great option for some individuals, especially those who feel that pornography and masturbations have negatively impacted their lives. However, it's important to approach it with caution and to be aware of the possible risks and limitations. Eventually, the decisions to participate in NoFap should be a personal one and based on individual values. What's your take on the NoFap movement? Tell us in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.